Hi guys, another update on the progress with the converting the Poundland uh, flywheel powered car to hobby grade radio control. Uh, before I go any further, I'll just say I've got a fan going. Uh, it is 7 o'clock in the evening on the 20th of July and temperature oh it's gone down a bit just on a hundred <laughs> it was about 41 degrees centigrade about an hour ago so it is it is dropping a bit it's one reason I'm not doing very much work out here in the conservatory because it does get extra hot anyway uh, where were we up to I printed that dummy piece just to make sure I got the holes for the alignment right then the next thing I did was I printed that little gearbox that holds an ordinary are they 150 motors or something printed the pinion gear or spur gear and the other gear so that's 3D printed and then that's the original wheels off the original chassis and the next stage we're up to is I've printed a new chassis using the moulding from that box and extending it so we've got the same position can I do this one handed that goes on there that goes on there That sat down properly. No, it hasn't. There we go. That goes on there. So they sit on. So we'll now take that apart and put that motor into there. You'll notice we haven't got any steering neck yet. That will be the next bit of work. But we'll just see if we can get this together and make it go forwards and backwards. Assuming you can hear me over the noise of the fan. And hopefully I can just take this apart. Take that out of there. First question is, will that fit in there? Okay. That fits in there, and that will go straight in there. I ought to put some spacers on it, but I'm not too worried at the moment. This is just to position it. That should go on there, and that should screw into there. Okay, so that now fits Okay, that looks okay We probably do need to put some spaces on there just to stop it going right the way over Although, no, I don't think it will matter, not just for now, just for demonstration purposes. I'll see if I can find a receiver and an ESC and rig that up, and just see if we can go forwards and backwards with it. Well, I should be able to pinch the receiver and ESC out of this one. This is the print-in-place chassis that I did, that fits in there. And that was just modifying somebody else's design and I wanted to do my own. So I'll take this apart, put the bits in there and see if it goes forwards and backwards. Right, it is very much just pushed in there so we can see it go forwards and backwards. So yeah, 
Okay. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Looks like I might, I could drop it all down a little bit so the body sits down a little bit, little bit lower. But I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Turn the fan off for a minute so it's a little bit quieter. <laughs> that wasn't me steering it. That's just a um, spinning round because it's got no grip. It's actually stopped moving. I think the battery's flat. Yeah. Okay, I'm stuck now. Um, yeah, that seems to work. So that's today's update. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.